with you mentioned about 50 employees affected by it um, how big of a part of the, of the local economy is that and how um, how much is that have those jobs meant to Edgewood over the past you know, 15 plus years uh, you know it's a big part they they you know go to the grocery store they buy gas they get flowers at the flower shop they eat lunch in the restaurants um, it is a big part of um, what we have here um, in 2015 um, our retail sales were 18 million dollars what kind of work did these folks do? Um, CVG was in charge of uh, wire harness manufacturing and that would be the guts underneath the dashboards of um, Caterpillar, John Deere and what they did was weave yeah. the wires into the circuits. What's the impact of the closure? You know, how have people responded to it? What kind of uh, ripple effect do you think? Um, I think it, it, you know, it is um, disappointing, but I think people are, you know, knowing that uh, there's other employment opportunities in Edgewood, there's other things in Delaware and Clayton counties. We want them here. We want them to stay here. Uh, Donna Boss and I spoke with the employees in January about other opportunities that are available in the area and we were very happy to know that the um, employees were favorable to that. Um, I think a lot of the employees have um, taken jobs in other spots. Well, I think basically if things get, things get going, we're basically in an agricultural uh, state. <clears throat> and uh, the things that CVG did was uh, wiring harnesses for uh, the uh, armed services, which went out the window when the contract ended, and for Caterpillar, which is withdrawn, you know, back in just like John Deere has done. So, if that would get going again, there's a possibility that either they might reopen it or some other firm would come in.